There's something really off about this school. What? This school? Amanda, this is a very good school. One of the first schools founded by the missionaries. Don't be too hard on this school. It might not look like much, but it's a really good school. I didn't like it too when I first arrived. <laughs> you see? That's exactly what I've been trying to tell her. The cast and crew of the highly anticipated horror TV series Madame Koi Koi was recently premiered in Lagos. The movie delves into an African urban legend which centers around the spirit seeking revenge within a boarding school in the southwest region of Nigeria, prompted by the investigation of mysterious death. The movie parade popular Nollywood celebrities like Ireti Doyle, Omo Midada, Choma Akuta, amongst others. Madame Koi Koi was written and directed by J. Franklin Jitubo. excited for this film because we bring the story, the origin story of Madame Koi Koi to life. Madame Koi Koi is a legendary mythical character that almost every Nigerian that particularly went to boarding school can relate to. This is about authentic African stories, right, for the rest of the world. That's what this is about. So that's what I set out to do and that's what we've done and I believe when you watch the film you will understand a bit more about what we're trying to do. When we went out to film some projects, um, for promotions for this film, a lot of people could relate. When we asked them, do you know Madame Koi Koi? Some knew her as Miss Koi Koi, some knew her as the Lady Koi Koi, some knew her as Madame Koi Koi, and everyone had a thing or two to say about the character. I'm Inspector Theophilus Achebe, and this is my colleague, Inspector Oscar Akintoye. Right. We're here to ask a few questions about the dead body found today. I can tell you with the utmost certainty that the body found on the outskirts of town is certainly not one of our students. I'm so glad to be a part of this project. I mean, I was a boarding school student and getting the opportunity to tell this story means a lot to me and I cannot wait for the rest of you guys to watch this film we've created. Getting a script saying you have to do this particular thing in a film, it was hard doing it but I had an amazing screen partner, Ejiro. Um, she played the bukun, so we talked about it. We just spoke about how we are going to be able to perform it. Having to go back to being a 15-year-old girl in secondary school was a little difficult, but I was able to at least get into that because I remember how it was back then. I can't just believe that there's a wild animal out there killing people randomly. And three dead bodies, no witnesses. Being part of the project itself and knowing that everything you saw is what was produced by them. It wasn't something that was improved on by other parties. Then it's a, it's a, yeah. The audience for this film should expect entertainment, should expect issues that are being swept under the carpet today, being addressed, being talked about and being brought to life. When you are watching this, don't put out the light, because Madame Koi Koi will come behind you. <laughs> About the dead coming back to life, no one will believe you. They will think that you have gone mad and you will be dismissed.